We're recording. Okay. <laughs> uh, hi. For those who don't know me, my name is Jazz, um, and I'm a model who calls people out on their shit, I guess. And um, I did a poll on my Instagram story asking you guys what kind of story you want me to tell, and you all want a whole photographer kiss me, so I guess that's the story I'm telling today. Um, so it happened like maybe five months ago. This guy wanted to shoot with me, and then did the first shoot at my pool, and you know, I was in a bikini, we were just shooting like on the side of the of the pool, right? And then all of a sudden he just pushed me inside the water and I was like, what the fuck? Because I have like a heart syndrome and like my heart starts racing like crazy. I'm not allowed to like go swimming on my own or shit like that. It's like actually pretty serious. And he did that and I couldn't breathe anymore. And I was like, dude, you can't do that. He's like, oh, I just wanted to get you wet, like just for the picture. And I was like, dude, you're, you're fucking crazy. So that was the first part, and then the next time we shot, he drove me to... He wanted to shoot somewhere near the Hollywood sign, and um, so we drove somewhere, but it was not the Hollywood sign. We drove somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I did not have service. I had... Like, I wouldn't even be able to, like, call myself the car home. So, um, yeah, we shot there, and then for some reason he told me... Um, I was wearing, like, a, a dress, like, a hat, like, full clothes and everything. He was like, oh... Well, um, it would be so much nicer if you wouldn't wear it as much. I was like, mm, okay, because it was like gold now. And like, I was like, okay, he probably knows what he's doing. So I was there, standing in my bikini in the middle of nowhere where there was no people and like nothing. And then, um, yeah, we started taking pictures. And then he was like, oh, let me show you um, how I want you to pose. And then I was standing on this rock in my bikini. He came up to the rock to me and to show me how to pose. But he didn't show me how to pose, he kissed me instead, the motherfucker. And then I just looked at him because I didn't know what to say. I was like, dude, you didn't ask. And he was like, oh, uh, well, may I kiss you? And I'm like, no, what the fuck, you're not allowed to kiss me. Like, what the fuck is going on? And then, um, well, it turned out that I was just like, in the end, I was just explaining to him how you should not kiss the model on set, how you should like, respect boundaries and like not touch the model, or, like not be inappropriate. I felt so unsafe. I could not call myself a cop. I was just like praying that nothing else would happen. I felt so freaking bad. Um, so yeah, we were up there and for some reason he was recording everything with a video camera and like for some project or whatever and he still hasn't published any of that. I mean, I kind of know why but like, let's keep it like that. And um, yeah, I kind of wanted to publish the story with a picture that we took on that day but he still, to this day, has not sent me any of the pictures. And that is probably because he knew that I would like, tell the story and call him out once he sends me the pictures. So, um, yeah, I did the photo shoot for nothing and got kissed for nothing. And I still don't have the pictures. <laughs> Fucking amazing, but like to all photographers watching this, please, please respect boundaries. Ask every time you want to touch the model, even if it's just like to adjust hair or whatever. Ask them, like it's not that hard and don't fucking, I can't stress this enough, don't fucking kiss the model, like what the hell, don't do that, okay? That's fucking crazy. Um, and yeah, I mean, you probably think of like some old and ugly guy when I tell you stories like this, but this guy was like in his late 20s or something and like, you would not expect it from a guy like that, you know, like he was all chill in the beginning, but no, <laughs> like just no, don't do that. And um, I asked you guys on my Instagram if there's like, any specific questions that you want me to answer. Uh, and there was one question that like, kind of uh, got my attention the most, which was... Fuck, I need to get my phone. Hello guys, so this is KG in the motherfucking building here. Fuck the darkers. And yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> she asked me why don't more people uh, speak up about that, for example, big models with a lot of power. That's a question that I asked myself many, many times and I came to the conclusion that most models don't speak up about it because they are too afraid to speak up because they might lose their agency contract, they you know, might lose people that want to work with them and it keeps happening like that. Like, I've lost so many agency contracts because of that, because of who I am, because I speak up um, and most models just can't risk that, you know? Like, I don't really care about modeling that much, so I would be cool if I there's not an agency contract, like, I don't care, but like, most models do care because like, their life depends on it, and I respect that, I don't judge, but that's the reason I think that's the case, and most models, or like, most of the big models, they have been in some shady business, and if they would speak up about it, a lot of things that they didn't want the world to know would like, come to the surface, and they obviously don't want that, so, 
I get that too, but I'm gonna make another video about that. Um, yeah, and the next story time is gonna be about Faithful Pay next week. See you guys. Thanks for watching.